Hey guys, well today we're going to be working on the X and the Y ball nut mounts and I decided to take these out to the mini mill and here you can see I'm center drilling and drilling the holes for the M6 by one screws. Uh, I decided to go ahead and use the mini mill. You guys have seen me bore uh, mini holes on the Precision Matthews manually so I didn't think that using the CNC machine here would take away any from the build. If you don't have a CNC machine, by all means, you can uh, do it manually. Uh, I've got a 3 8 inch 4 flute end mill here, and I'm, it's about an inch and 3 quarter inch long. It's The depth of cut here is about uh, 0 0.025, and I'm running at 15 inches per minute. I uh, did a real nice job here. I was really surprised. Uh, it worked really well. And of course, it was a lot nicer cut than I got uh, with the boring bar set up. For some reason, my boring bars I don't think were really meant to be used in a meal. Either that or they're dull, but they were giving me a hard time, so. This right here turned out really nice. And then I'm doing the final pass here, just cleaning it up and getting it to the final dimension. And it's nice to see a CNC in action. Get tired of doing stuff manually. But you can see it turned out really nice. And then I had dropped my camera. So I lost a lot of the milling footage on this, and I took some pictures with my phone, as you can see, but um, just doesn't do it justice. I did do this little bit of uh, video with the phone, um, just cleaning up the uh, step here on the uh, y-axis. Again, worked really well. This is a four flute, uh, three eighths inch end mill. It's a three quarter inch uh, length of cut here, and again running at about uh, 10 inches per minute and I did the top with the same end mill there and uh, you can see it finished that up uh, now I'm just uh, drilling I'm um, excuse me tapping for the M6 holes for the y-axis uh, doing the top here it's M6 as well and now here is the x-axis. I didn't get any footage of that having dropped the camera, but uh, the top two holes are M5s and the bottom two were M6s. Okay, so you can see we have our X ball nut coupling made and our Y. I still got to come back and notch. See if I can get you a view of that. Oh. See, I still need to notch this just a little bit. I'll probably just do that with a cutoff wheel. Um, the simplest way. Uh, the X axis ball nut, as you can see, it's a little bit different than it, I originally drew it up. And this is actually plan B. I decided that I didn't really like this thin, this thin line that's right here. Um, there was only going to be about a millimeter of material left right there. And I just felt like it wasn't going to be strong enough. There's clearance issues for the top. That's why I, I can't do it like this where the whole ball nut slides in there. So what this one's going to do... Uh, it's just going to slide in like so and then bolt up to the flange and that will give me plenty of material left on the block here and it's gonna it'll make it strong I believe it'll be a lot stronger so that's plan B um, I had contemplated this early on but decided to try to go this route 
and then after I posted my drawing for this I had some comments suggesting this and I went and went back and took another look at it and I know that having it sit on the outside of the flange it's gonna you would think it's gonna be uh, a little wobbly but I added these extra two holes even though they're M5s instead of the M6s it'll still give it some stability and I bolted it up it's really pretty sturdy so I think we're gonna be just fine um, there's probably other ways I could do this but without ma making any kind of modifications to the Precision Matthews uh, this was the best route so I need to go out there and just knock these corners off it's probably not necessary but just for aesthetics I'm gonna knock these corners off and then I need to trim the bottom of this a little bit it's, it's too long and notch these corners so we'll go out to the mill and we'll do that and we'll have our X and our Y ball nut couplings uh, pretty much complete my camera unfortunately I dropped it so I lost a lot of the machining footage uh, sorry about that we're good to go now and the camera's back in order so we're gonna move on so I've got it out here in the mill here and I've got this set on about a 30 degree angle and I just set it up, clamped it, and just knocked these corners off. It doesn't have to be, they're not critical. Uh, it's just an aesthetic thing, make it look a little nicer. Uh, this is the Y-axis. I left it a little long because I wasn't sure, and so I'm having to really hog off some material here. Uh, there was just way too much left there. I could have probably left it. But I just decided to go ahead and take some of it off. There's plenty of room underneath. It would have probably cleared. But I just went ahead and removed the material there on the Y. Now, the ball nuts. I had an old 3 8 inch carbide end mill. So I thought, well, I'll stick it in there and just mill this off. And these are uh, pretty hard. And I knew I was going to ruin the end mill. And the end result was... I pretty much just rounded off all the corners so I went with plan B which was a lot easier and I just used my die grinder it goes right through it uh, without any difficulties and uh, cuts that hardened steel real well and I just this is the Y axis I just notched the corners that's all that really needed to be done on the Y and uh, as you can see this little cut off wheel this is an electric one I uh, picked up at Harbor Freight I think I paid I don't know 14 or 15 dollars uh, it's a lifesaver it works really well um, the pneumatic one you have to compressor and it it works but and uh, but this way I didn't have to fire up the compressor my big compressor anyhow and uh, works real good the electric ones really nice and they're really inexpensive so Uh, here is the X axis ball nut that you saw me trying to mill it on the uh, Precision Matthews. Uh, so I just took it in here, clamped it up, took my little grinder here, and uh, this whole process right here took about five minutes maybe. Um, well that wraps up our ball nut mounts for our Y axis, our X, and our Z. And we'll finish this up once we get it disassembled so we can take some final measurements and figure out exactly how we're going to mount it. Uh, again, I want to thank George for the uh, drill bit set. It goes up to one inch. And that really helped bore this out. Uh, saved a lot of time with the boring bar. I really appreciate it. Thank you for all your support. If you have any suggestions or questions, please feel free to comment. Thumbs up if you like the video, please subscribe, thanks for watching, and most importantly, be safe.